Well, greetings and salutations, uh, Series 7 test takers. This is a Series 7 guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with uh, some help for one of our test taking weekend warriors. You know, one of the things you have to do in terms of spreads is be able to determine the greater premium, which dominates the position, right? So here I have a, a 40 call and I have a 45. So be, even if it's long or short, it doesn't matter. If you look at this, you say, what is more desirable? A, I'll take the long perspective. Uh, what's more desirable, a choice to buy at 40 or a choice to buy at 45? You know, the 40 is going to be more desirable, you know, a choice to buy at the lower price. So, you know, if I'm selling it, I'm going to demand a higher premium for that. You know, if I'm buying, it's going to cost more. So if you're trying to save some money, maybe buy the 45 instead of the 40. And if you're trying to bring in a bunch of money, you would do the 40. So what we've basically said there is that lower strike call contracts always have greater premiums. And so that means whenever you're looking at a call spread, the uh, lower strike is going to be the dominant leg. Lower strike call contracts always have greater premiums. Yeah, let's put that a bigger font. So now what's helpful about that is now I know that if I go to look at these spreads, even before I do the reveal and see whether I'm long or short, you know, I know the dominant leg is going to be this 40 call. So if I'm buying that 40 call, it's going to be a debit spread because I'm going to have more money out for the 40 than I brought in for the 50. And if I'm selling that 40 call, it's going to be a credit spread. Because again, I'm going to have more money in than out. So it's always going to be in a call spread, the lower strike that is dominant. So we can uh, do a lot. By the way, there's a lot of things you can do once you figure that out. This is the hardest thing, I think. On One of the hardest things on Series 7 is to identify spreads that are missing premiums. All right, so let's go down now to the put spread. Let's go down there and look at that put spread. Uh, we haven't done the reveal yet, but it, let's assume we can do it from either perspective, long or short. I'll take it from a long perspective. A choice to sell at 45 is more desirable than a choice to sell at 40. You know, and if I'm selling and I know that I'm going to charge more. Higher strike put contracts always have greater premiums. So I'll put that there, we'll put that in a different thing. So before I do the reveal now, the, the thing that's nice about that is I know that the dominant leg is going to be this 45 call. And the reason that's important to remember is because we have to be able to determine whether it's debit or credit, bullish or bearish. So, I mean, there's things that come from that. So lower strike call contracts always have greater premiums. So in a call spread, the lower strike is gonna be the dominant leg and put spreads, put, contracts, the higher strike always has the greater premium. So that's going to be the dominant leg. So now let's see uh, which of these legs that I bought or sold. So now time for the reveal. And so I bought that 40 call. And so that 40 call is the dominant leg. Even with the missing premiums, by the way, I should be able to establish that that has the greater premium. And therefore this is a debit call spread and it's bullish. And here, I know this is a credit put spread because that 45 has the greater premium. So even with missing premiums, you can do quite a bit. So based on what we've just discussed, boom, boom, we said we know the 40 call is dominant, the 45 put is dominant. So we can uh, do quite a bit from that, right? We know that's a debit call spread. We know we want the difference in the premiums to widen. We want to be able to exercise. Now, when you think about exercise, you can actually just uh, walk yourself through that by saying, okay, if this is the position in my account, am I going to be happy or sad if my broker calls me and he says the contracts were exercised? I'd be happy. That means I'm buying the stock at 40 and I'm selling the stock at 45. I'd make five points less my premium. All the action takes place between the strikes. You know, there's a floor at 40, there's a ceiling at 45. And again, if we do the reveal on the put spread, 
by the way, again, lower strike is dominant. I have a trick for you too. You can use it. Just a trick, but amaze your friends at a cocktail party. It's called bulls. Because you're long the lower strike. In any spread, if you were long the lower strike, it's a bullish spread. All right, let's look at the reveal on the next one, right? So here's our reveal. The 45 put is dominant. Higher strike put contracts always have greater premiums. So if that's the one I bought, it's going to be a debit put spread and it's going to be bearish. If it's the one I sold, it's going to be a credit put spread and it's going to be bullish. Again, the larger premium dominates. So I brought in more for the 45 than I paid out for the 40. Here, I'm pretty smart. I'm saying, well, worst case here, somebody sticks it to me at 45. I'm going to stick it to the next guy at 40. Now I'm the putter at 40, the putty at 45. That's still unprofitable. What I'm hoping is the contracts expire, the difference in the premiums narrow, and I am bullish. So I hope you found that helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Uh, yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. I will put a link. I'm teaching Wednesday night a, a course on advanced option strategies. Uh, we'll be spending 90 minutes doing straddles and spreads, and I uh, hope you can join me. If not, if you can't afford the 60 bucks, it'll be available on the playlist as a replay uh, after the class Wednesday night. All right. Uh, hope you're having a great weekend. And remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard.